Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing you to a sort of once in a blue moon, I suppose, type of video which is going to be an unboxing from me. Now today's unboxing, obviously you can hopefully tell by the title uh, and my attire in the end what it is going to be, which is going to be the Extra Butter uh, New York, I believe is how you pronounce it. I was going to call it Extra Buttery, but that is not their name. Uh, but is their Happy Gilmore collaboration that I bought last year, in fact. I've also got another item just to open up beforehand. But yeah, uh, with the past couple of days being the Masters, uh, I'll go into that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, with the Masters uh, going on, it's only right or it's only fitting that we have an unboxing that is sort of aligned with that. But yeah, I also need to get new golf gear because I've realised I haven't worn this or haven't gone and played like a round of 18 uh, in a little bit of time and it is massive. So yeah, uh, let's get straight on with this unboxing. So like I said, obviously the Masters is going on this weekend. If you don't know what the Masters is, it's it's like the peak golf tournament in the end uh, and obviously my attire uh, is for like as such uh, now yeah I did say that things are fitting a little bit there they are they have a lot of room basically um, I've got a PGA then a ping piece I think I'm just going to pick up some Nike pieces uh, because that's what I want to do I would go Adidas because that is sort of what this is themed towards but I don't know, I'm more of a Nike fan, Nike fan, purely also because of Tiger. You know, or if you don't know, if you don't follow golf, I'm sorry to bore you. Uh, but he returned today, to, or the other day actually, in fact, uh, to actually play in the Masters. Now, obviously, he's had so many surgeries and so many issues. Uh, it just, it's amazing that he's playing. Not only that, but he also made the cut. Uh, if you don't know, like, like uh, I don't know even how to phrase it for people. Basically, just imagine that somebody who hasn't played in a few years has basically come back and played a better round than those who have been sort of constantly playing over the last couple of years. That's the short of it. In a perfect world, you know, Tiger would come back and he'd win it, but obviously things like that don't really tend to happen. I believe currently it's between like Scheffler, Smith and Im. Uh, but scheffler has got like a bit more of a lead. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing his name either uh, But there's also Lowry, but Lowry's not really or Lowry's not really close in comparison I don't think even though he's playing a good game I think that the the main three are going to be between them. So yeah, Tiger did do well for his first uh, Two days. I believe it was his party on the first day was definitely better than day two That's just like, like my take on it yesterday being day three his putting, like the short game wasn't there, but throughout like the whole time, I think that his woods, funny, uh, and his wedges, also just like his chipping in general was just like peak. Uh, his driver shots looked like they did give him a little bit of pain, but regardless, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's just get into this unboxing. Before we go into the main piece, I do have something uh, to the side, which I can't really bring up too high because on both sides it's got details and address bits, but I will just cut it open in the end. I've been holding on to it for quite a few months. Uh, someone did inquire about it as to whether I'd just be willing to like sell it to them. I did respond to them. They didn't respond back. So, you know, their loss, I suppose, at the end of the day. But I just thought I'd want to include a bit more uh, in this unboxing than just one, you know, main thing. Uh, I will just move the paper out of the way. Um, so, this has sat around for a little bit of time. It's my second piece of the same sort uh, from this brand. If I could open the box, there we go. Uh, which, as you can tell, is uh, the shirt, sir. This is going to be the, oh, <laughs> this is going to be the $5 wallet, uh, which I will open up like so, which is there, or oh, there it is. Different boxing. Uh, or box to the last time. We just have just two things in here, being a Deschutzer dollar, uh, which is, as you can see, and then we've got this, which probably either has a sticker or a patch in it, one of the two. Uh, I don't need to open it, but, oh, it is a sticker pack, it says on there. So, yeah, uh, these aren't gonna be included in the thumbnail or title or anything like that. I'm just opening it because why not? This wallet is a lot larger than the last one. I'll, like, hand comparison, that's, yeah, um, so this is the $5 wallet. So let's go over the details of it very, very briefly. So there it is. They have improved upon a lot of things compared to the first wallet, I will be honest. It just feels a bit more sturdy. The outside's a bit of a weird feel, like 
I don't know if you can hear that or not, but yeah, it's a little bit of a weird feeling, but um, so one of the improvements that I saw that they made is as you can see along sort of like the seams, I guess you could say, the outside before was like this rubber or leather uh, type. Now they've obviously stitched it all the way around, which makes it a lot cleaner and a lot more seamless. Then they've obviously just got the Schutzer there, as you can see, and that's how it looks. But yeah, overall it looks like it's a lot better quality than the first one, or they learnt from their mistakes. It just seems that it's a bit larger than the first one, I'll be honest, but the details and everything as per norm with them are always uh, great quality. There's just a bit of glue here that I sort of want to peel off, but I don't. Uh, but yeah, that's the wallet. Cool, you know, my second one from them. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do with the first one. I feel like I prefer the first one to this one, but it's still very cool. Uh, but yeah, let's just slide that back in. Uh, and that can sit with that. And yeah, that's that out of the way. Okay, so now we're on to the main piece of this video being obviously this. I hope I've actually picked up the right box because I have quite a few boxes of things that I just haven't opened that are sitting around that have the same sort of labels on them, so I don't really know if this is the right one or not, but I'm, I'm hoping that I've got everything correct uh, and that it is. So let's just go ahead and unbox this. But this has definitely uh, sat around for far too long in the end. Can I actually open it? I'm gonna cut to me opening it. Okay, so now obviously it's open, it's done. Uh, yeah, so this has sat around for coming up to a year now. Uh, I've had it. Uh, I just haven't got around to unboxing it because what I wanted to do with this specifically is go and play an actual round of golf with my brother and record and unbox it there. But I'm going to do a separate video of obviously going out and playing golf because I do like golf. Um, but yeah, go out, play golf uh, and have this because I haven't played like a, a round in a good chunk of time. I've gone to driving ranges and things but I just haven't really gone out and played a round and yeah. I mainly only hit with irons anyway. I'm not really a wood or driver person. I'm more so an iron person because I can I can I, I can hit a fair distance. I'm not going to like not be like proud of doing so. But my my average drive would be between like 180 to 265, uh, depending on the iron. Even with a nine iron, I just whack it in the in the end, which isn't what you should do. A nine iron has its its specific goal, but yeah. I can just hit them how I want to at the end of the day. These are going to be my shoes in the end. So yeah, I did want to do an unboxing of the Adidas uh, Waffle House pair of golf shoes, which they had for the Masters tournament specifically, but they were a US only. So I asked on the live chat and asked through different means and every answer was the same of just look out for our upcoming releases. So yeah. That was sad, but we have this pair instead, which I more so enjoy because it's obviously Happy Gilmore, and how can you not love Happy Gilmore? You know, just tap it in. <laughs> but yeah, let's just unbox this uh, now. Uh, this is so difficult to like cover up everything. But yeah. Oh, I actually ordered more than I thought. Okay, that's cool. So, let's get straight into this. I completely forgot about some of the things that I ordered. Yeah, it is extra butter New York. I always call it extra buttery. I don't know why. I always feel like I, that's what I should call it. I feel like I should also be in the center of this, because I just haven't been. My bad. Uh, so the first piece that we're going to be starting off with is the Asher Premium uh, Apparel uh, Golf Glove. I completely forgot about the golf glove. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know, this is also allowed to happen because of Universal Studios. So they've obviously had to do like a collab or something with them uh, in order to pull this off. So yeah, this is going to be the golf glove, uh, as you can see. Uh, this should be the for the left hand in the end. Have I got the correct glove? Because I play right, I'm, I'm left-handed, but I play right-handed. I can't remember whether I have a right-handed golf or left-handed. I think I've got the wrong glove. I'm pretty sure I wear a glove on my right, not on my left. I'd have to check, but I'm sure that I put a glove onto my right hand, not onto my left hand. Oh well, regardless, uh, we've... <laughs> I'm stupid. We've got it, so let's crack it open. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so here it is. Uh, the glove, obviously. As you can see, you've got the two of them there where he's like, it's all in the hips, it's all in the hips. Uh, you've got the extra butter New York tag there on the back, you've got Asher. Obviously, I went with the small in this because I don't have the largest of hands and that's would be a correct fit for me most definitely as you can see that's such a nice glove really nice and smooth and soft so nice quality but yeah i don't have the largest fans but there's that uh, in the end which yeah that's that's really cool i like that i really do like that so next up uh, we've got the visor uh, i i only have like one golf hat in the end so i thought why not pick up the visor i completely forgot that i actually added it to my uh, car or to my order uh, but yeah this is the shooter 
uh, visor in the end. Uh, so yeah, Shooter McGavin, obviously. If you've never seen Happy Gilmore, please do watch it. But this stuff is all for me. So the packaging doesn't really matter. Now the one thing that I did mess up on is that I didn't buy a pair of the slides. The slides were really nice, I'll be honest, but I just didn't order them at the time. Uh, my brother and I were going off to tennis. I remember the drop so specifically. So my brother and I were going off to tennis and the drop was occurring. I just added my stuff, checked out, I told him about it, he was looking at it going um, uh, and just left it be. I left the slides be, I should have added the slides and just checked them out, but I didn't. That's just on me, at the end of the day, you know, it happens, so, yeah, I just regret it, I do really regret it. Extra butter, if you're watching, if you have a pair of the slides, I'd love to buy a pair to wear because they're really expensive now. They are really expensive, I can't afford to be paying £300 for something that should have been like... 40 or 50 it's crazy so but yeah uh, this is obviously an adidas uh, visor in the end actually it might make sense if i get adidas gear instead maybe maybe not i don't know it, it's really nice and then you've got the shooter obviously you know his thing that he does like that where he does the both hands and things but yeah uh this is obviously the visor for that uh one size fits all it's really actually got some nice soft lining to it but yeah i love the the yellow mustard tone that they've gone for and obviously on the side you've got the extra button new york adidas which is there as you can see Oh, and that's a lot easier. I thought it was just going to come off completely. No, that's a lot easier. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm not going to put it on now, I'll be honest. I might do for the thumbnail, but I might look really stupid as well, but yeah. But for the main thing that really matters from this unboxing, now that i put the box out of the way, uh, we've got the Happy Gilmore 25th anniversary. I didn't say that this uh, collaboration was obviously for their 25th or for the 25th anniversary uh, of Happy Gilmore, so there's the box. Front, as you can see, you've got Happy Gilmore 25th anniversary. They did also do a Chubbs uh, pair of shoes in the end, golf shoes in the end, but I just really liked these because these are ultra boost uh, shooter. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, did I get the right size? Yeah, I did. UK 9.5, lovely. So let's open this up together. I haven't actually looked or looked into any unboxings of these. Um, I don't know why, I feel like I just didn't want to spoil it, or spoil the experience of it. Oh, that's a really cool paper, and they've got, they've got his putter as the paper. Look, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. So, let's get these out. Oh, they're really nice. Oh, they're nice. Oh, wow, yeah, they are nice. Wow. Cool. Oh, I'm so happy with these, I'm so happy. Okay, so, this is obviously the Ultra Boost. These are sick. Ah, oh, they got the shooter there, yeah. Oh, they're really nice, they are really nice. White laces, they come with as well. I feel like this is, is good enough. So, here they are. Obviously, standard Ultra Boost. I need to wear them definitely to help that out. But as you can see, you've got the little shooter thing there uh, on the inside. For the insole, you've obviously got the Adidas Extra Butter. Uh, you've got suede going all the way around. And yeah, you've also got this almost like metallic look uh, to the mesh that's going on. But overall, they look so cool. They are, they are they're cool. And then on the inside, uh, to the insole for this one, you've obviously then got Shooter McGavin uh, with his <laughs> his little pose of being upset. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're really cool. Um, I thought that both were meant to have, maybe not, I thought that both were meant to have like a certain insole type or an image to them, but maybe not. Maybe it's just meant to be like that uh, in the end, and that's how it's meant to sit. But yeah, I still don't know whether or not, because they've got photos and they've got the people in like the ad and such for it, or like the promotion for it, wearing these and playing in these. But I don't know, looking at the bottom, they're not really the type that I'd expect you to actually be able to wear to play golf in. Unless you had a really dry green to go and play on or something like that where you're not going to get too muddy and such. But regardless, I'll look and see if people have actually played in them or whether they've just worn them to the green, you know, maybe done some putting practice or something like that. And yeah, but overall, if they can't be worn in the way that I was expecting them because I thought that you'd actually be able to wear them, uh, then I'll have to decide on a, a different way, but overall I couldn't be happier. You've also, on the one with Shooter, uh, you've got EB for extra butter uh, on there, but yeah. Overall, you've got Ultra Boost going also on both the suede and everything all together I think just looks really clean and nice and 
yeah, I couldn't be happier in the end with them. I think they're really, really cool. And maybe I just need to find a certain outfit for them. But yeah, I thought that they would actually be for golf because I did look in the photos at the bottom uh, of them. But maybe that's why they released an Ultra Boost and then the actual golf model uh, pair for the chub pair. Maybe the chub pair were for people to actually wear and these are just for you to like wear to the course or wear around the course before playing. But overall, they're really cool, they're really sick. And yeah, if I can wear them to play in, I will do. Uh, and I'll just see how it goes without destroying them. Uh, <laughs> because they've sat for quite a while, I wouldn't really want to just wreck them on my first time. But yeah, I wish that I had ordered more from the collection because the slides and a couple of other pieces, maybe like the jacket, would have been cool to match with this. Uh, but overall, I just didn't at the time. I'll be perfectly honest, I didn't really have the funds uh, to put like 400 or 500 pounds down onto it, whereas now I do. Stuff happens, you know. At the time, I, I had a lot of stuff to sell. Now, I'm sort of okay, but yeah. Oh well, uh, that is going to cover this unboxing anyway. I apologize if it's a little bit long. It is a bit of a long unboxing. I might just have to throw this on for the thumbnail in the end, see how it fits. We'll have to see, oh, I didn't want to do that, I'll be honest, but we'll have to see how it fits. I like that it's almost got a bit of a heavy weighted rubber to it, because it's also got Adidas Golf there. Um, which side can I throw this? I have to throw it behind. <laughs> see, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I look <laughs> I don't know how people normally do it. I always seem to wear things like incorrectly, but yeah, I feel like this would be really cool to wear though. This is going to be nice. It's really soft as well, so yeah. But yeah, uh, when the drop actually occurred, I did put it on like my Instagram story, tagged Extra Butter. They put me then on their Instagram story, which was quite cool because when this drop happened, I know it was it was quite massive in the end. It was massive in the end, but they only put like. 30 odd people's things on their story. So to be one of them, I was quite I was quite happy with myself to be honest. But yeah, if they do happen, you know, if you happen to watch this video, I'd love if you had any leftover stock to purchase some of it because I'm in need, you know, I'd, I'd love a couple more of like the pieces from it. I should probably get Adidas to go with an Adidas theme uh, in the end for the rest of my clothing. But yeah, you know, I would like to go Nike because my set of uh, clubs are Nike, so. Yeah, uh, if you bought any of the pieces from this collection, do let me know because I'd be very interested to see if other people did. Also, if you do want me to do a golf video, uh, let me know. It'd be cool. I might get a GoPro or something like the new GoPro because my one's old and it has battery issues and a load of other issues. But I might get like a new GoPro and just like attach it or something uh, or put it on like buggy or something like that and just play golf and record it. So yeah, uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, uh, I hope that you have a good day and I'll see you all next time. Peace.